So guys, uh, this is Eric the Kill on one, and this is the uh, 198 custom I have that is all put together and running at the moment. I have three others that will be getting fixed and decked out at D-Day this year, but this is the one that I have running. Okay, as you can see, it's not your normal 98 custom. It's got the Cyclone feed. Now, it did not originally. I bought this from a friend. And it had the response trigger, and he was running it off a regular hopper. And that really did not go well with me. And I had a 98, I had a cyclone feed for a 98 that I had bought quite a while ago. And uh, I decided, you know what? It's going to get put on it. So, it's got cyclone feed. I have the low profile hopper on there um, with the response trigger. Drop forward. The uh, bottom line kit, the expansion chamber on off on the drop forward, um, double trigger, rocket cock, that's got a smart parts barrel on there right now, 14 inch. Um, porting is really nice on this barrel, there's two different barrels I run on this gun. It's either the smart parts barrel. Or the Lucky 13. Both extremely accurate barrels, really nice porting, and that's important because with this gun running on the uh, uh, response trigger, unless I'm running HPA, I get a lot of CO2 blowing out of the barrel. And if I'm playing at night, like on the speedball field at D-Day, I can't see. Um, however, since I now have a couple different HPA tanks, um, if HPA is available, I'm switching over to that with basically everything I run. Um, but, those are the two barrels I run on here. You know, everybody knows Tipman is a very high quality company, has been in the game forever. Uh, honestly, these, these are... Definitely one of the best beginner guns you can get as a starting paintball player. I would tell anybody, you know, go out and get a 98 custom. Now, if you're thinking towards... First, I would ask them, you know, if you're thinking towards speedball, which most players aren't going to know right away. They're going to be playing paintball at some friend's house or something, you know. Or most paintball players I've come in contact to, unless they live in a big area... Or they have family members that play or something in a big area. Most of them start off in the woods. So, you know what? 150 bucks for a 98 Custom and a mask and everything. You can pick that up at Walmart. You know, with a tank, a mask, a decent mask. Great gun. You know, one of the best quality semi-autos out there, I think. You know, I'd give this gun a 9 out of 10 in any review. Um, just incredible gun. Shoots really nice. They do have a tendency of, you know, they aren't the most efficient. They do have a little bit of kick. Personally, I like that. Um, you know, just all in all, really great gun. A lot of different things you can do to it. Titman has done so many things for the paintball community. I can't even start naming them off. Um, no, just really great company, really great gun, backed by a great company that's not going anywhere. That's the great thing. You buy anything Titman, you're going to be backed up for ever, probably. Life, you know, maintenance, whatever. Anyways, there you go. My review of the 98 Custom. My decked out 98 custom.